Monday night game. Probably the best game of the season. Chiefs at Ravens. What are you I'm, looking for here? I'm, I'm rooting for points. Uh, I'm rooting for downfield passing. I was I surprised see, that this wasn't the highest point. Uh, total it's not. Of the it's week. only 54. Dallas, Seattle's 56. Detroit, Arizona's 55. And Casey, Baltimore's 54. So th- they're projecting it as the third highest scoring game. Um, I was a little surprised by that too. Um, but at the same time, when you have two really good offenses and if for whatever reason, it seems like they can both go on like seven minute drives. And so like it could be three to three after the first quarter where they both, you know, stall out in the red zone after running the ball all the way up the field. Um, I, I would not be surprised by that. Um, I, I don't know what's going on in Baltimore's backfield. You cannot start Ingram or Dobbins currently. You just, you just can't do it. Uh, I'm waiting for Marquise Brown to look better. Um, he's clearly their number one, but I don't. He he's just been okay. I, I was expecting more from him, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I think that the the biggest thing from the Ravens is that they really, truly haven't been challenged yet. So I don't think that you've had to see much from them after blowing out the Browns thirty eight to six in Week One. And then rolling over the Texans 33 to 16 last week. I think that this is a game where you will actually see them try for 60 minutes. Um, And we, you know, you (laughs) talked about how you can't start any one of their running backs. Honestly, this is a time this game. I would be okay starting either J.K. Dobbins or Mark Ingram, because I don't think that you're going to have Gus uh, Gus Edwards in there muddying things up. I think that he took over in the second half last week, taking over in the second half of both games that they've played so far because they're up a bazillion points. And so I think that the Chiefs are able to keep it close, keep Dobbins and Ingram on the field, keep them producing. Mark uh, Marquise Brown, I think, is actually, you know, used for four quarters. Um, I'm excited to see what this point total ends up as. I would probably take the over for that point total. Um, and then the, for the Saint, the, go ahead. I was just gonna say this game's super important when it comes to like real football. And the reason I say that is because so they're they're playing in Baltimore. There's no there's gonna be no fans in the stands. I at least think that there's not gonna be any fans there. Kansas City is already letting fans into their stadium. If Baltimore doesn't win this game, then they're potentially looking at going to Arrowhead for a playoff game where there's gonna be fans. And that makes a substantial difference than playing at home. Um, so this game is very, very important for Baltimore to win this game. Uh, looking ahead to the real life NFL playoffs um, in January. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to have fans or not. I mean, the only thing I've been able to find is that the Ravens won't have fans, at least for the initial part of the season, whatever that means. Um, I could not imagine going into Arrowhead Stadium though for the playoffs a hugely important game for real football um but what are you looking for out of the Chiefs here do you think that uh do you think that Clyde Edwards Hilaire is able to find some running room against Baltimore this week I don't know because David Johnson didn't really find any room against Baltimore oh that's Um, an insult to Clyde Edwards Hilaire to be even grouped with David Johnson eh, is it I mean currently they are Baltimore is giving up the least amount of fantasy points to running backs so far this year. And that, that includes the Chubb and Hunt uh, week one who destroyed Cincinnati last week. I, I think it just depends. You're, you're going to see early what Baltimore's game plan is. They like to blitz a lot. And if they have the box loaded up, bring in the pressure, then Kansas City is going to try to throw over the top of them. Clyde Edwards Hilaire has not been super involved in the passing game so far. Um, I, I, he did have six catches for 32 yards last week, but it it just didn't really look good. The Kansas City offense looked very disjointed last week, and that was more to do with with the Chargers defense than anything. Uh, Sammy Watkins is questionable, still has a concussion. Um, you're going to fire up Kelsey and Tyreek Hill, but um, yeah, I don't. I have no idea what Clyde Edwards or Hilaire is going to do. You obviously have to start him if you have him, um, but I wouldn't be surprised to. 
see him slow down a little bit and they try to shut the running game down and, and focus like against the chiefs. You have to take one thing away. You either have to play back and they'll run you to death or you play up and they'll throw over the top. You have to stay consistent, but either way, it's going to be one of the most fun Monday night football games to watch this season. I'm really looking forward to it. And I think there's going to be a ton of fantasy points between Lamar and Mahomes. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.